Data analysts, if you want to pass your interview and become a high value data analyst, you have to know how CTEs actually work. Common table expressions like these, otherwise known as CTEs, help you avoid subqueries. CTEs feel like tables in the database and you can use them in your join statements just like you would with any other table. But CTEs are actually quite different from tables in the database. A table is a physical object stored in the database, but a CTE is only stored in memory and it's only available to you and nobody else. The other important thing to note about CTEs is that they're only available for the duration of the script. So let's take a look at this in our demo. Here we have two CTEs. When we run this code, the results from this first CTE are being stored in memory and that's being made available to use in this next block of code. This feels like a table, but when we refresh our database schema, we can see that no table was actually created. This is because CTEs are not a physical table in the database, they're only stored in memory. But the important thing to note here is they are only stored in memory for the duration of the script. We can prove this out because when we run this all as one statement, it works just fine. But if we highlight this bottom select statement again, that is referencing those CTEs from above, we get an error. This is because the values that were in that CTE were released from memory when that first script finished. So if we want to get those results from both of those CTEs again and use them in our final select statement, we have to select all of the code again and rerun the entire thing. If you want to become an expert data analyst or simply just need to pass your entry level interview, you want to know about CTEs. I have approximately nine hours of on-demand SQL training in my eight course package on Become a Data Analyst, which is only $100 and it's far greater value than any of the other competing courses out there. Link in my bio.